Part 1 Pre Application. This video is part one of a four part series. Please see the remaining videos after this one. The Registrar's Office is here to help while you're participating in the International Exchange Program. This presentation series is to provide important information, including what a Registrar Specialist does, how to choose and register for your courses, and what to do before you return from your exchange. If you check out the International Exchange page on our website, you can find our list of Registrar Specialists by University Assignment. These Registrar Specialists will approve courses to fit into your program, explain the credit transfer system for your institution, maintain contact via Carleton Central and your Carleton email, complete credit transfer at the end of your study abroad, and add the study abroad designation to your transcript and diploma at the time of graduation. Please be sure to always include your student number and exchange institution in your emails. The study abroad designation is for undergraduate students who successfully complete enough credits at a non-Canadian university under a recognized international exchange program. Earning 2.0 to 3.5 credits will give students the notation with study term abroad on their official transcript and diploma. Earning 4.0 or more credits will give students the notation with study year abroad instead. Earning 1.5 credits or less will not earn this designation, so keep in mind that courses that are withdrawn or failed are not included in this count. The International Exchange application is available in Carleton Central, and we'll go through a detailed walkthrough of this process in the next video. The International Exchange page on the Registrar's Office website has a lot of helpful information. There's some important links, a frequently asked questions section, and some downloadable brochures and presentations. This is also where you will find the Course Equivalency Database. This lets you check for courses that have already been evaluated for exchange. Please note that courses remain here for three years after students take them, so if there's not a lot of courses listed for your institution, it could just be that nobody has taken them for a while. Let's say you're attending Erasmus University in Rotterdam, for example. Be sure to check the information about the university by clicking the link above the course listings. You will see a list of courses that have been evaluated for other students in the past, along with their course numbers, host credit values, and Carleton equivalents. Some courses have direct equivalents, but most have one of these equivalents with the X's in their course code. This means that the course doesn't have a direct equivalent, but rather has been granted generic credit at the year level indicated by the course number. This is the same information that will appear when you're in Carleton Central working on your exchange application, except you will be limited to viewing only courses from your approved host institution. If you run into any problems, you can contact a Registrar's Office specialist using the contact list on our International Exchange page. The list you will want is University Assignment by Registrar Specialist, which can be found under the Important Links section. You can also call the Registrar's Office or stop by in person if the office is open. However, before submitting courses and coming to us, we strongly encourage you meet with your program advisor. If you can't reach them and you're not in a specialized program like Journalism, Public Affairs and Policy Management, or Bachelor of International Business, you can meet with an advisor in the Academic Advising Center. You need to be fully aware of the courses you will require for your program when you are on exchange and after your return. Some programs have very specific course registration patterns, so having these discussions now can prevent a lot of future headaches. By the end of July, we will add the per-term tuition fee placeholder course, and payment must be made prior to the fall fee payment deadline. Check out the International Exchange page on the Registrar's Office website for more information.